Well, Eddie, sort of was was a draw a fair result there? Yeah, uh, we would have taken it from where we, we got a little bit into a pickle. Um, you know, we got good starts and no one really went big and they had Jennings who got 170 and that was a difference. And, you know, we got into a little bit of pressure with Nathan Lyon, who's, you know, an international, you know, uh, bowler of class um, that we had to, you know, face him down today. Uh, not on a spinning wicket, you know, it, it didn't spin much, but, you know, just... Uh, just enduring that pressure I think was really good and I think we did it very well. Mm. Was it nervy a little bit, maybe for the crowd, maybe so much for you, but eight wickets to keep intact today and the weather helped a little bit as well, didn't it? It did, yeah, it was a bit nervy, you know. Um, thought Gubbo did really well. Uh, no dramas there, you know, he batted the whole day. And, uh, you know, I think it was good for us because we, we got something out the game. Bowlers all got really good overs under the belt and most of our batters got starts and so you know feel confident going into the next game. You must have been pleased with Tom Prest, 80 in the first innings and then runs there at the end as well. Yeah, like I don't know, 130 odd for one. Um, really showed maturity, um, played a lot of defence and attack, uh, a good you know a good blend of that and uh, we are we thrilled with his with the match that he's played. Any other positives under this? Yeah, I think Dorse went well with the ball. Uh, bowled, you know, nearly 50 overs and got four for 150. And, uh, you know, I thought that was a really good effort. And, uh, you know, we stuck to it. And it, was, it wasn't it was easy with, uh, you know, with the Kukubara. Um But I think we stuck to it well and hang in there. And, you know, I think today... I think we showed that we can play under pressure, which is good for our confidence. Maybe a few more runs in the first innings, though. You had several that went past 50, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. We didn't get someone to go big. Uh, you know, we got two 285s and a couple of 50s, and you know we could have could have done with a big hundred. Um, and that, you know, as I said in the beginning, that that was the difference between the two teams. So. You know, we spoke off the game about getting ruthless when you do get in and making sure that you, you make it count and, you know, hopefully we'll put that right going forward. Lots of talk about Kookaburra ball and it was a pretty good, wasn't it, uh, utility bowl wicket as well. The combination between the two, I don't know, what, what, sort, of, what sort of contest did that produce? Was it, was, was it good enough for you? Well, I think we have to look uh, countrywide. Uh, I, I, you know, I, I think it was uh, not a good contest between bat and ball. It was obviously uh, too much in a batter's favour and, you know, huge totals out there. It has made for some good cricket. And, you know, there's a game going on now, which is... Uh, Surrey's got a good sort of chase on now. Um, but I think, you know, they've... If you look at a lot of spin has been bowled because the seamers haven't really bowled and spin have taken wickets. I don't know if that's because the seamers have had no effect and spinners have had more effect, but it, it hasn't really turned a lot. But uh, there have been quite a few good wicket hauls, especially from leg spinners around the country, which is good to see. Um, but I think we'll wait for next week. And our pitch here has been prepared exactly like the pitch that we've just had. And so with the Duke's ball on that, we'll be able to see the difference between the two. So I think it'll be a good test next week, to, uh, you know, for the Kookaburra when we look at it next week. So, you know, let's wait a week and see how it plays out. But, you know, the pitch for next week is almost the same as this one that we've had. So in hindsight, could have left more grass on the pitch uh, to make it carry more. You know, I think the Kookaburra used in South Africa in conditions that I know and also Australia is there's more carry, it's harder, um, we leave a little bit more grass on there and it sort of bounces through and doesn't seem to get as soft, you know, here the ball really got old and probably in hindsight should have had more grass on the pitch but you know this is all an experiment and we've got to take the positives out of that.